Hey, Investie Besties, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are a returning Investie Bestie, thank you so much for coming back. I do appreciate all of you guys being here. So we're going to continue on with our Vlogmas Finance Edition. And today we're going to be talking about something that my husband and myself have really been working on these past couple of weeks. And this is our financial goal for 2022. So you saw the thumbnail, so you guys already know what we're going to be talking about today. And our goal is to increase our net worth by $1 million next year. Increase it, y'all. We're going to try to increase our net worth by $1 million next year. And there's a couple reasons why we are doing this that I will share in this video with you today. But please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this content with a friend. We are almost at 2,000 subscribers, 2,000 investee besties. And I really do appreciate all the love and the support and the encouragement that you guys give me. Okay, so let's go on and talk about this. Now, I know $1 million is a big number. It is huge, but we also believe that we can do it. And there's a couple of reasons why we can do that. Number one is that we've been really tracking our numbers this year. You guys know I've been on this channel faithfully every month with the portfolio updates, the net worth updates. When I was doing the budgets, I was coming back with those, checking in with you guys, doing the $1 a day investing challenge started in September, really being consistent with tracking our information because these numbers are going to tell us whether our goal can be achieved. So if you guys are looking for easy ways to start tracking your money, because yes, budgeting is good. Yes, that payoff is good, but you must invest in order to achieve whatever your financial goals are. And I am here to help you. And I have several types of trackers up on my website, mt1finance.com, if you care to use any of them. You see my plant right here, guys, it's all shining. <laughs> So yes, we plan to achieve this big goal and break it down in bite-sized pieces, doing a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit over there, and combined, they equal something great, okay? And we plan on achieving our financial goal through a couple of ways, okay? And I do have my notes here because you guys know I'm not gonna try to remember all this by heart, but it is all of my words and information. But we plan on using compound interest to do this, we plan on to continue aggressively investing like we have been. We plan to stick to our budget and our budget allows us to do some fun things, go on vacations, pay our bills, but sticking to the budget that we make for ourselves. And of course, tracking our numbers. These four things is going to be key factors in us achieving our goal for 2020, which is to increase our net worth to $2 million. So let's talk about where we currently stand. When you are planning out your financial goals, it's very important to know your current state. Where do you stand right now? Because you can't plan for the future if you don't know where you are in the present. And if you need some help with that, I have a free retirement worksheet tracker that you can start with. Very simple, a very easy starting point. It's not the end all be all, but it's a very good place to start if you're trying to figure out what you want your financial future to look like. So you can grab that free tracker. It's free through the rest of the year. My website, mt1finance.com. You can go ahead and get yours and really use some time during this holiday break to really sit down and think about what you think your financial future is going to look like. So let's talk about our current state. So our current net worth as of November 2021. I just posted that video right here. You can go back and take a look. If you like, I share real numbers, have screenshots of several of our accounts. You can go back and take a look. But our current net worth, and you see me look down because I got my info right here. Our current net worth is $1,041,500. I am going to add 2763 to that because I did mention in that net worth video that we got an escrow refund. So I'm going to add that to it. So our actual net worth is $1,044,263.06. Okay. So let's break that down. So our current cash and investments currently right now is $366,000. $289.86. Yes, there's going to be a lot of numbers in this video, guys, a whole lot of numbers, but the numbers tells us what our money can do. It tells us where our money is going and how it can grow for us. So it's very important to know your numbers. Okay. So like I mentioned, all of our cash and investments right now, as of November 30th is $366,289.86. Moving on to our property equity. So that's the value of the property minus the debt that we owe. And we have three homes, by the way, okay? 
three homes, our main home and two rental properties. And the equity in those is $383,221.47. This is our current state and the current assets that we have, our other assets, company stock, kids college, gold and silver medals, coins, things like that, is $294,751.73. That's where we currently stand. Notice I did not include car values in that. Just cash investments, property equity, and other assets. That is it. That is what we're going to go into 2022 with. Keep in mind, guys, I'm not even including December into this yet. So I still have to do December's net worth update, but I want to be very, very conservative when I'm talking about our goals for next year. So if we are currently at $1,044,263.06, that means in order to achieve our $2 million net worth goal, we need to make $958,500. Yes, so that's our like deficit. That's the gap that we need to fill in 12 months. Can we do it? Let's talk about the plan. But before we talk about the plan, we need to talk about what will change as of January 1st. So remember, I just talked about our current state, but I also need to take into account things that may be changing that may impact our goal starting January 1st. So I mentioned on my Instagram, if you are not following me over there, please do so. Information is down below. I mentioned that my husband was promoted to chief privacy officer at his company of his department. So I'm really proud of him, but that does come with a salary bump, extra stock. And I have to factor that in because that is going to be very important. So his nine to five. Okay. We're going to talk about base salary projected for next year and consider this video also like our annual budget projection for next year as well. So let's talk about my husband's base salary that will be effective starting January 1st. That would be $236,250. Now keep in mind, that would be only for five months. In his contract, yes, he has a contract. Yes, he had a lawyer go over it. I suggest you do that, especially if you are kind of climbing the ranks at your company. Get a lawyer to look over it just to make sure you are protected. He gets a salary increase starting June 1st of 5%. So that means starting June 1st, his new salary will be $248,062.50. So that's 5% of the 236250 that I just mentioned. Moving on to the bonus that he's expected to get in Q1, and he gets these bonuses in Q1 for the past couple of years. I talked about this in a video right here that I did earlier this year when he got a bonus. It was about 63 something, something, something that he received. He works in the pharma biotech industry. Very solid, very stable industry. I did talk about some type of career fields when I talked about our our salary journey in this video. If you want some ideas and tips and tricks on ways to increase your income, different career fields that are promising right now and that has a big future in front of them. But yes, that's the industry he works in and he does get a bonus in Q1 and the bonus is 30% of his base salary. So we're projecting $70,875. And then the new stock that he will receive as a result of his promotion, in addition to the current stock he has, the value on that is $55,886.09. So like I mentioned, there's a lot of numbers here, but these numbers are very important to know because if you don't keep track of what your money is doing, where it's coming from, what it can do for you is going to fall through the cracks. And this is almost like how you structure your budget, but on like level 10. But again, Guys, if you can manage a little, you can manage a lot. And we just took the same principles from when we made 30,000, 60,000 a year to this, making 300 plus thousand a year. So if we add up my husband's projected salary for 2022, that's his base salary, that's the 5% increase, that's the bonus, and that's the new stock value that he will be getting as a result, that all totals $369,000. Gross because it'd get too complicated trying to figure tax. So I'm saying gross with all of these numbers. So that is how much he is expected to gross from his nine to five, almost $370,000 a year. Okay. So that is what's going to be changing come January 1st. But let me also tell you about what's going to be changing with our passive income. I talk about passive income a lot on this channel, guys. A lot, a lot, a lot. Again, this is all a part of how we're going to reach that goal. It's just broken down into really small bite-sized pieces. So currently as of January 1st, we will have two rental properties. And for next year, we currently project about $45,000 with MT or my business MT1 Finance. I am projecting $10,000 with 
dividends. I'm projecting $3,000. Our tax refund, yes, we already started getting our tax stuff together. Yes, we have estimates back. $5,000 tax refund. And then any type of other passive income that we do any one-on-one -on -one sponsorships, anything like that, including YouTube, that would be about $7,000. So when you add up all of our projected passive income for 2022, that is $70,000. And we do think that we will be able to achieve that. And yes, we plan on adding more rentals, but that would be under the plan part of this video. I told you guys it was gonna be a whole lot of numbers, but it's very, very important. I wanted to share with you guys that it's so important to be detailed with your money. So if we do an overall income projection recap for 2022, my husband's day job plus passive income and the different sources from that, that equals $439,901.71 gross. So that is a lot of money, guys. That is the money we're going to be using towards our goal in 2022. So now you guys are starting to see like, okay, wow, your projected income is about 439,000. That's almost a half a million dollars. Increasing your net worth by a million may not be too much off the mark, but we would not have known that if we did not break down the number. So let's talk about the plan. So we did our current state and then we did what will be changing as of January 1st. So let's talk about the plans. Let's break that $439,000 down so that we can see how we can use that to grow our net worth. Okay. And again, I'm looking down because you guys know I won't be able to remember all this. <laughs> I won't be able to remember all this. So yes, let's talk about step one in this plan to get our net worth to $2 million in 2022. So the first step is to park our money in places where it can grow the most for us, where it can give us the most return for our money. Because we want to make sure that this high income that we are projecting really does the best for us. And this is the ways that it can do it. So the first way is to save $20,000 in 2022 and our emergency fund. Next is our 401k. We do plan on maxing that out. And the IRS has increased that to $20,500. So we plan on doing that. Another place we plan on parking some money, the backdoor Roth. If the backdoor Roth is not available because Congress is rewriting some things, we will do the traditional IRA. And and the max for either one of those is $6,000. We will also open up a spousal IRA for myself. So if you stay at home, if you don't have a traditional nine to five, you can open up a spousal IRA for your spouse or your partner, but the max contribution for that is $6,000 as well. Next is a solo 401k. I've been talking about this for a while. I plan on opening up one for my business, mt1finance.com, and I plan on contributing 50% of my earned net income to my investment account there. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I don't have a lot of overhead when it comes to my business. A lot of my products are digital and I do meet with people one-on-one -on -one and discuss like their financial goals as well. And so I don't have to like ship things or put things together. And as a result, I don't really have a lot of operating costs. So yes, 50% of earned income going into the solo 401k. Next is our kids investments. We plan on investing 5,000 for each kid. That's $15,000 total for 2022. Next is our HSA. Again, the IRS increased those contracts contribution levels to 7,300 bucks. And we plan on maxing that out as well. Of course, our taxable accounts. If you don't know what taxable accounts are, tax deferred, tax free, take a look at this video. That is very, very important to know, especially if you are a beginner investor. But yes, we plan on sending $50,300 to our taxable accounts. That's Robinhood, that's Webull, that's M1, all of those types of accounts. And of course, our cryptocurrency slash NFTs. We just purchased our first NFT. I have a picture of it <laughs> right there. And if you guys want me to do a video about that, and I do plan on doing a QA. and a So if you have a question about that, I will have a specific post talking about Q&A questions and you can leave it under there, how we did it, why we chose what we chose, how much it costs. And so, yes, at, we plan on contributing $20,000 total. Most of that will be to cryptocurrency like Bitcoin and Ethereum with a little bit going to purchasing maybe two other NFTs as well. So when you add up everything I just said, places to park our money in the step one of this plan, that is $150,000 total. Okay, so that is a little over a third of our projected 2022 income. So this is how we're going to grow our net worth. Okay. So we're parking over a third of it in places where it can grow the most. Let's move on to step number two, and that is diversify our money into physical 
assets. Physical assets are like actual gold and silver coins and metals and what we plan on using and that's property, okay? So we plan on purchasing two rentals in 2022. So I did mention in one of my previous videos that we plan on taking our first rental and doing a refinance on that, cash out that equity and use that equity to buy another asset. So using an asset to buy another asset, okay? This is how the wealthy do it. This is why they always stay under the radar legally. And this is why they always pay less tax legally because they always got something going on with their money. So yes, we're going to take one asset and use it to buy another asset. So that's one property. And then of course, when my husband get his bonus, that is what we did this year. We took the bonus, paid the taxes, gave some money away, and we also used the bulk of it to buy another property. So those are where the two rentals are going to come from for 2022. And of course, our budget for these rentals are going to be the same as what we were thinking about this year. Townhomes, three bedrooms, one and a half baths, basement with the parking in the back, lawn in the front. Very, very simple and easy homes to buy and to rent out as well. So we plan on charging $1,800 a month for each of those rentals, which will be an additional $3,600 a month in terms of our passive income that was not included in that $70,000 number I just mentioned about our projected passive income. That was just those two rental properties included in that number. This is not counting these other two rental properties. So because we are putting 20% down on the homes, that means what we owe on the homes will be much less as the value continues to go up. And by the end of 2022, we project to have $75,000 in equity with those two new rental properties because we're putting 20% down. We're going to be continuing to pay the mortgage off. We won't have any PMI and the value will continue to go up over time. So that is what we plan on doing in step two, which is diversify our money into physical assets. So purchase two more rentals in 2022. So let's talk about step three in this plan to raise our net worth to $2 million by the end of 2022. And that is the new stock that my husband will be getting as a result of his promotion. So he already gets stock in this company. I talked about that a lot on this channel, but he also is getting shares on top of that because it comes with the new position. So I wanted to share a little bit about that with you. So you guys know in our net worth updates, I keep this company stock at $280,000 as a base. I don't include the real value of it because we're not going to be number one, accessing it anytime soon. And the second thing is that the market can go up and the market can go down. But as of today, doing the real value of that $280,000 base stock price, that stock is actually worth $413,680. So again, I say 280 in the worksheets in the net worth to be very conservative, but the actual value as of today is $413,680. So honestly, we're probably closer to that mark than we actually figured because I use the base and keep it very conservative. So that means in essence, I'm also shortchanging us by $133,000 plus because I'm not using the actual stock value price. But using projections by the end of 2020, his stock should be worth $469,556.09. Why? Compound interest is behind a lot of these numbers because we're going into 2022 with already a large arsenal behind us. And the fourth and final step in this plan to get our net worth to $2 million is to find extra slash hidden money and invest that or put it to work somewhere. So investing challenges is a great way to find extra money. A lot of times we will have, for example, budgeted $200 to eating out, but we may come on the budget by a couple of bucks. Why not take that couple of bucks and invest it somewhere so that money can grow? This is why I love the investing challenge that I created because I have a $1, a $2, a $5, and a $10 version. So it really fits all of those little areas. So if you feel like, you know what, I got a couple of dollars left over. I want to put this money in the market because every little bit counts and I want to watch my money grow, double, triple, quadruple over time. I love having investing challenges. And yes, on Wednesday of this week, I will be revealing some investing challenges and investing trackers that I created that I'm going to be doing in 2022 to help also get our money to our $2 million net worth goal. And of course, you guys are more than welcome to join me as well. And a special thank you to all of you who have already. 
savings challenges is another way to find extra hidden money. I know a lot of you love doing them, especially for your budget. I think that's a great, great way to find extra money, even for your financial goals. Find extra money somewhere and use that money to pay off a debt. Maybe get one month ahead, maybe put it in your emergency fund. And then when you're done with that, transition to an investing challenge and then put that money for your future, okay? Next is pay off debt. Pay off debt, I'm a big fan of paying off debt. I talked about how we became debt free and we paid off over $75,000. I will put that video right here, but it's so important to pay off high interest debt because it takes away from your future. It also takes away from your here and now. And as you continue to pay down that debt, you will free up that money in your budget so that you can go ahead and use that to invest. And that's what we plan on doing, though we don't have any like active debt. We have our mortgages. We do use our credit cards, but we pay those babies off every single month, okay? Next is to renegotiate some of your bills or interest rates. So I did this with Verizon, call them up, say, you know what? Do you have a special discount or promotion? I've been a loyal customer for these many years, always paid on time, no problems for me, cutting off service, suspending service, nothing. Can you do something for me? And a lot of companies will work with you guys. Same with your interest rate on your debt. Call these companies up, ask them to lower the interest. And as a result, you are lowering the amount of money that you have to pay to these companies. That's another way to find hidden costs. And that is something that I plan on doing in 2022. And then the last thing is just to save your coin. Cushions, pockets, under mattresses, in cars, between chairs, on the ground. I found so much money on the ground. I'm talking about $20 bills, $1 bills, quarters, dimes, pennies, nickels, all on the ground because people feel like, you know what? It doesn't matter. It's not that much, but every little bit adds up. And yes, we plan on using that to help us get to our goal as well. So those are the four steps in our plan to increase our net worth to $2 million by the end of 2022. So let me put these papers down. So let's do our results, guys. Let's summarize all of the numbers that I just shared with you in this long video today. So our projected salary for 2022 is $439,901.71. That's my husband's job. That's the rentals. That's other passive income sources. That's empty finance. All of that stuff is wrapped up into that number. Next is our projected home value in terms of equity by the end of the year. That's five homes, main home, four rentals, we currently own two, that is $588,221.47. Value of my husband's company stock at the end of 2022, $469, $566.01. And, and then of course, our projected stock returns, of course, our investments going into this is 335,000 plus. So we already have that kind of moving forward towards us. So when we add in the projected $150,000 that we want to invest and in projected gains in terms of a 10% return in the stock market, just to give you an example, the S&P 500 has an average return as of today of 26%. So 10% is very conservative. So our total projected investment returns is $593,733.33 by the end of 2022. So let's add up all of those numbers, projected investment returns, projected home equity, projected stock value. So if our projected net worth for the end of 2022 is $1,651,220.89, that means we have a deficit of $348,479.11. That deficit we believe can be covered with my husband's side business, with my business and the return in the stock market. Now I already included 10%, but I am hoping that the stock market will continue to do what it was doing this year going into 2022. Yes, like I mentioned, the market could crash, but we thought the same thing about 2020. The market was down for a, about, let's say, from March 2020 to June 2020, and then it came roaring back. We thought the market was going to crash, and 2021 is closing out to be a great year as well. So the point we're going on is just to continue to invest and hope for the best. Continue to invest and hope for the best because remember guys we thought our net worth by the end of this year was going to be around 800,000 we had no clue that we were going to beat that number by almost $300,000 and keep in mind I did not count December's net worth update yet so we don't want to count ourselves short we will try to figure out ways to cover that deficit but that is our goal for next year and keep in mind even if we don't achieve it 
$1.6 million is nothing to scoff at, okay? It is nothing to scoff at. If anything, it will put us at 55% towards our fire goal, which is a $3 million network. So if anything, we already shaving off some of our years off the nine to five. So my husband don't have to maybe stay the whole time. He can stay for most of that time, cash out his shares, and he can start his own business. So that is our breakdown of our 2022 goal. It is still 2 million, even though with that deficit, but we are going to try to cover as much of it as we can. If we don't hit 2 million, that is okay. Like I said, 1.6 million is nothing to skull fat either. Remember, we came from nothing. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was long, but again, guys, I wanted to give you as much detail as possible. Don't forget on this Wednesday, I'm going to be revealing our 2022 investment challenges and trackers to help us get to this number, to help us stay on track, to help us stay organized and help us to see where our money is going for us, okay? So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Stay tuned for tomorrow for our Tuesday's money tip during this vlog week of us. And until next time, I'll see y'all in the next one, okay? Have a good one, investy besties.